Hey, this is Pastor Jay with Walk Truth Radio Podcast, and I want to encourage you in something. I want to take you to a new level of repentance. I have found that in most cases, it's easier for people to repent to God who they can't see than to humble themselves to their brothers and sisters in Christ and confess and repent to them. And I hear the old church line of, Everybody can't handle your mess. Be careful who you tell your story to. But when you go with a repentive and contrite heart, a heart of humility, you understand whether they take your story and run with it and try to damage you some more. You've submitted to a great degree in repentance when you do so. Uh, why should they handle your mess? Why should they not be astounded? Maybe the shocking of them in your mess and you repenting of the changed mind. See, I'm not talking about the godly sorrow per se. I'm talking about the changed mind that you're willing to tell a person that you were this way and now you're that way, meaning the way of God. You're following the ways of the Lord. Um, that's an awesome thing that you could submit yourself one to another, that you can confess your sins one to another. And that knowing that God is faithful to forgive you, where man may not be, but as a follower of Christ Jesus, I'm commanded to forgive you. Now, again, it doesn't take away the natural consequences to our actions and the things that we may have to do for uh, reciprocity or, or we have to pay back or, or be removed or whatever, whatever that may look like. But we know that the weight is lifted. So the question is, why are we so afraid? to confess our sins one to another is because we still have this ego that we don't want people to know that we're as wretched as we are. We still wear a mask when there's no reason to. We still don't want to be uncovered, unveiled, and found out. We still prefer darkness rather than light. Think about it. Why can't we tell each other? We're all the sinners. We all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Maybe if I tell somebody about my shortcomings, just maybe it might encourage them to come to the Christ that will forgive them and that will give them rest from their sin. Because sin confessed to God is one thing, but sin also confessed to the man or men or women who have lived out your sin and actually had the repercussions of it is a whole nother thing. Ask Jonah. Ask Jonah. Jonah's sin almost caused some men to perish. But Jonah's confession caused them to survive. And Jonah's profession caused him to live. And Jonah's obedience helped him save a nation. And Jonah's understanding of God knew that God was long-suffering and had steadfast love for his creation and that he would even save a wicked city like Nineveh. So why not? Why not? Let's not be like Jonah that we get mad when God calls us to go to the ones that we don't like. Let's understand our place and understand our space and move forward in faith. This is Pastor Jay. Peace. Have a great day.